Hello stunning people! My name is Bean and welcome to the Salt Lake Sessions. Today's artist is a marvel with vintage vocals that will take your breath away. This is Christine Noel. Just like a star across my sky Just like an angel off the page You have appeared to my life Feels like I'll never be the same Just like a song in my heart Just like oil on my hands Honor to love you Still I wonder why it is I don't argue like this with anyone but you We do it all the time Blowing out my mind You got this look I can't describe You make me feel I'm alive When everything else is all fate Without a doubt you're on my side Heaven has been way too long Can't find the words to write this song Oh, your love Still I wonder why it is I don't argue like this With Do it all the time Blowing out my mind Now I have come to understand The way it is It's not a secret anymore Cause we've been through that before From tonight I know that you're the only one I've been confused and in the dark Now I understand Yeah, yeah Ooh. Ooh. Still I wonder why it is Just like a star across my sky Just like an angel off the page You have appeared to my life Feels like I'll never be the same Just like a song in my heart Just like oil on my hand It's been such a joy to have you, to spend time in your space, to hear you do what you do live in the flesh. So let's talk about you and your journey and how you got to be on this stool next to me. It's a long one. So when were you born? Where were you born? Where was the moon? <laughs> Where was the moon? That's a good question. I am a Sagittarius, so do that what you will. Period. Born in Sacramento, started singing in church and okay. playing. I told my parents it was either flute or piano. I was like, mom, either one. And she was like, there's a piano place next door. So I started like learning piano and then singing in church. I know flute would have been yeah. Lizzo. Been you versus Lizzo. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was a good choice. That was a good choice. But um, but yeah, I started playing and then singing in church and leading worship and then, yeah, just doing that some musical theater and then went to Berkeley, 
met all these crazy, amazing people, mm -hmm. heard so much new music. I feel like my mind was like, Ugh. yeah, because I grew up doing one genre. So right. it was cool to learn something else and do something else. I feel like it helped unlock parts of me. So, right. yeah, I've been in what was, so what was that? What would you say that genre was that you grew up doing? CCM, Christian CCM. Contemporary Music. Oh, right. yes. Hillsong. So not gospel. No, there, there but are I loved gospel. There are moments of overlap, right. Uh, yeah, not many. Not, no. not at my church. It was mm -hmm. very CCM. Yeah. Like very, 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 very diatonic. Similarly. Oh, really? Yeah. You get it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know other chords existed like that. I was like, <laughs> flat seven? Little. No, no. Literally, no no. no, 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 you never did it, mm -mm. right. So mm -mm. that's what happened to me, and I'm at school like, oh my God, there's way more, there's just so much more I can do. Then it opens up your voice more because you have more room to navigate chords, and mm -hmm. then you're playing, it, it was a game changer for me. Crazy, game changer. That, mm -hmm. it's so interesting for me to hear about these kind of foundational mm -hmm. blocks, because mm -hmm. I feel like you have the, the belt of the, that comes with the CCM singing, mm, right? But the choices of gospel, which you probably picked oh up gosh. later well, on, I, right? I always loved gospel. Like mm. when we, I'd hear like songs here and there, I was like, ah. Oh. I would just like Kirk Franklin, that album with, oh. um, I've been looking for you. That album, All the Way Down, Hero. I knew every single mm. run, every single <laughs> melody. Like yeah. I was obsessed. And I think it's because I didn't get to hear that much else. My mom had one Mariah Carey album. <laughs> My dad is from Colombia. We've listened to Colombian music and like random stuff. Oh, interesting. That, I didn't know that. Yeah, super random. Like he listened to Colombian music and like polka. And you're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> polka. I'm being so serious. He had a polka classics. Mm. And we were like, and it was great. Right. I think no, it's no like some polka, but. none, however. It's a choice. It is a choice to be Polka made. It's just a happy yeah. guy. It yeah. is happy vibe. Oh my god. I had no Bars. idea you were Colombian. Yes, my dad's from Colombia. <laughs> does he speak Spanish? He does. does he Spanish? We didn't grow up speaking Spanish because okay. my mom is from Missouri. Right. And my dad worked a lot. So they're they're just they're very different people. So right. Learn. But I do sing in Spanish on occasion. Mm. Like it's it's been cool. I think it's helped me to understand other people and other cultures a little bit better to be more empathetic to that. If people are like, for example, people that don't speak English as their first language. Mm -hmm. You just are like, I don't know, I'm always helping people find words and things yeah. like that. It just, I feel like it, I don't know, it expanded. Another thing that kind of expanded my perspective, or as I wouldn't have had that living in Sacramento where I was. Right. I just wouldn't have had that, so right. it's good. Did mm -hmm. you know when you were 18 that you wanted to be an artist, that you wanted to have music? No. No. Ah, I thought okay. I was going to be a worship leader for sure. Okay, I thought yeah. I would go to school and come back and lead worship at a church. What did you find when you were in college that turned you from... Christine wanting to lead worship mm -hmm. to Christine the artist. Oh my god! I think I discovered writing in college. Mm, okay. I like got into the practice room and would just play and come up with stuff and be like, oh, I'm this is I'm writing songs. It wasn't even an epiphany like that. I just was writing. Mm -hmm. I just started doing. It. I started taking like a lyric writing class mm -hmm. and taking like a great American songbook and listening to the chords and like my mind was blown mm -hmm. like my mind was just blown by all this new music that i had never heard mm. i just didn't grow up with it so yeah. i was like oh my i didn't know like mint they had a mint condition show when i was at school <laughs> i didn't know any mint condition <laughs> songs at all yeah. but i was like whoa this is amazing so i just felt like i was exposed to so many different genres and so many different sounds and then started writing and then i was like i think i i think i want to do this so yeah then i was like maybe i should just try the artist thing and see how it goes mm -hmm. The, the fabric that is Christine Noel, tell me about the artists that are woven in there and why they're kind of a part of your, your tapestry, Ooh, if you will. Oh, that's a good question. Thank you, thank you. Speaking of tapestry, one of those people is Carol King. Yes. Uh, that's yes. a new, it's so weird to say, but that's a newer discovery for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so, actually, it's, it is embarrassing to say. No. I saw the musical. Um, beautiful yeah. with my mom when i moved to la which is like eight years ago now we went and i was like these songs mm -hmm. are stunning and to mm -hmm. hear her like to see her story played out was so beautiful so she's one of those that has been a huge influence especially lately and and you know she played and sang and she wrote her songs and she wrote them for other people and she seemed so unapologetically herself mm -hmm. to this day that i'm like dude she's 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 been really impactful um yeah Joni Mitchell is another one. I had to learn some of her songs in school. Yeah. And I was like, I never knew any of these songs. Literally, Case of You, never heard it. Oh my God. Never heard it. River, really? okay. never heard it. Okay, yeah, Until yeah, yeah. college. Right. This is how small my environment was. Mm -hmm. I love 80s music from the 80s. That's another recent discovery. Mm -hmm. So I was on gigs and I learned Journey songs and I was like, 
yeah, Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Like, man, so many, I just learned so much new music that I'm just obsessing over. So the yeah. music that you're writing now, mm -hmm. and are you putting out music soon? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I want to hear about that. Yes. Tell me about the Christine Noel that we have to look forward to. Oh my gosh. It's going to be very... Um, very honest writing, very straightforward writing, okay. um, very piano driven. It's going to be like probably the most me thing that people have heard. Mm. That's what I would say. Yeah. Akin to Dreams? Yeah. Because that's a piano driven. Yeah. And I produced song. that one. Yeah. Wrote it by myself. It's going to be like that. I love that, that vibe. I think that feels the closest to home for me. And like, it'll be so fun to arrange them for live. And But that's that's what it is. Yeah, mm. some acoustic guitar, some strings. It's going to be more organic, mm -hmm. which I am super excited about. I love my old stuff too, but I'm really excited about the new right, chapter. Right, because a lot of your stuff that's out is not, not heavily produced. But, but it's, it's on the but produced side. Yeah, yeah. it's Ariza. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. He has his thing that he brings to the table. Yeah. I have my thing, and we like found this beautiful middle, which mm -hmm. I love. But I, I'm excited now to do like what's been in my head and get it out. So the original that you're going to do for us today, mm -hmm. is that one that is going to be released? Yes. Yeah? Yes. That is so exciting. What's it called? It's, like, it's called Won't Die Trying. Won't Die Trying? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Yay! Yay! Let's okay. hear it. Yes. I wish you knew how to love me But time has proven you don't And as hard as I try I know that I can't change it And I had to learn the hard way Nobody's gonna save me but me And maybe I am better on my own Cause I can't live to please hard for you to understand cause you didn't choose your pain but I can't be your verbal punching bag no no you tried your best I know but nobody's gonna help me but me and I gotta go my own way in the Hey stunning people, it's Bean. Make sure to check out the Salt Lake Sessions YouTube channel and subscribe.